When you believe in Jay, bad things happen. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we are jumping back into our playthrough of Black and White. Now, if you were following us in the first video, we had sort of started to get oriented in our new role as a god. Today, we're going to be interacting with this giant fellow here, a giant lamb from a long forgotten or dead or missing question mark, possibly. Um, God. Before we get to that, though, there was a bit of gameplay that uh, that I played between the first video and the second video. So it was sort of a, a rewind. We're going to sort of look back at what's happened between the first and second video so you guys can sort of catch up, in broad strokes at least. All right, now we actually got to, like, play this game. Now that all the cameras are off, we got to, like, do a good job here. What's going on with Sable? Is he popular with the other... Sentient cows. You alter and shape it by. Hey, what's going on? I you don't do that. Him. Not my house. Never again. You touch her and you're dead. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. She's gone now. You did a good job. You threw her away. Good job, buddy. Like, what is there to do right now? I'm like the most bored god ever. There's, there's totally something going on with this guy. You would, you would not put a giant sheep monster into a game for no reason. Like, there's something up with him. What do you do when you have, when you can do anything, but there's nothing to do? Oh, here we go. Here's a scroll. What's going Sorry, on, dude? I don't have any special creatures for you. What? I wasn't expecting a special creature. But now it makes me think you do have a special creature. Looking for something to do, just coming through the fields, coming through the mountains. Jay the Ancient One has become a very bored god. Oh, here we it's go. It's time to take him for a walk. Time to take our creature out into the world, the guys. Out. Get over here, buddy. Then cow picking up another cow. That's meta. All right, we are walking our cow. Let's walk him into the town and see what they think of him. We're going to wow them all with this crazy cow-like creature. Nobody's wowed by this. There's, like, no belief? Nothing? I'll tell you what. This is going to get us uh, get us some belief. You're totally going to eat that person right in front of everyone else. How did that not get us any belief? Oh, he's pooping! You pooped on the idol, dude. You don't don't poop on our own idol. He's a lot to learn about being a god. Oh, he's just sleeping sexily beside uh, beside this house. I like how people go like rigid as a board when a cow picks them up. Like they don't even struggle. It's like a bear. It's like pretend you're dead. They probably teach this in schools. If the god dick Professor Moonstein shows up and picks you up, just go stiff as a board. I hear a lot of kissing happening around. I guess this is where the breeding comes in. It's nighttime, after all. Monster cow roaming the farmer's fields at night. Oh, where's he going? Death. What the? Oh, yeah, I remember. I think of this game when somebody dies, it goes, death. It's actually super creepy. Let's see what's going on over here. What does this guy want? What could you possibly want from a guy? I'm busy. Make it quick. There's one thing I, I hate is long prayers. Keep them short and sweet. Please find my strange sheep. Oh, he has stray sheep? Oh man, I wonder how many sheep we actually have to find for this guy. Does, is this one of your sheep, by the way? Because if that's one of your sheep, I'm out. Is that enough? Many thanks, higher power. Keep them coming, please. Only one belief? Dude, a, a hand literally came from the sky and like brought one of your lost sheep back. Um, where else? Have we seen any sheep just in our one? Here's another sheep, I guess. Where are you here, buddy? Here, have another sheep. Is that enough? You many satisfied thanks, yet? higher power. Keep them coming, please. Well, we can't spend all day looking for sheep. Let's see what this one says. The stones have to play a scale. That's what we need. Tap a stone to hear its... Oh, we not only have to find other stones, but they have to play a scale? Oh, dear God. I guess this game really focuses on exploration, making you sort of, like, move around the map and look for different things. Like, we're looking for sheep and for rocks. Not that sheep, but other sheep. His eyes see it, there ain't no need for me to bow before you, son. I ain't seen diddly from you, which impresses me one in a bit. I'm very God close to killing you. I feel like if you take the advice of, like, your bad conscience, you just fail a bunch of missions. Like, it's not even like by killing him or something, you would, like, earn a, a different mission reward. You just fail the missions. Yeah, we did it. Show me my reward. Reward your God. What could you possibly have? 
All right, let's see. Let's see. We got some food. Food. What the hell? Wait, that's not our village, is it? Whose village is that? Can we totally like convince another group of people to believe in us? Because if so, we're totally doing that. This is how this is how religions start, man. You got one one tribe of people believe in something, another tribe comes along. Before you know it. Wow, look at this little village. I want these people. Hey, and they're not blondes. Right, can we get belief by just throwing them around? 41 belief. Okay, how much belief we get by throwing this person around? 21. How much more do we need? 235. Hey, we're well on our way. Got one belief, four belief. I guess there's diminishing returns. After you've seen one person get thrown through Times Square or through the square of the village, you've seen it all. How about can we be nice to them? We'll like take a tree and like give them wood. I didn't do anything. What is this? Oh, hold on. We, we, we got some God. Uh, like a, your God is learning right now. Tribes won't mourn when people die. They will get on with their lives instead. Oh, interesting. So, hey, look. The symbol of uh, of us is like slowly starting to take form. They're like, maybe this Jay the Ancient One actually exists. All right. Uh, we, were, we were looking for a rock, though. Let's not get distracted here. We were on a mission to find a rock. Anything over here? This is where we found the creatures. I wonder what happened to the lion and the monkey. They're just like, fine, you don't want me? I don't want you. And they just peaced out. Went off looking for another god. A better god. Oh, I know what we can do. I know exactly what we can do. We're going to... Where, where do you guys have crops? Over here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. If this does not earn me some major brownie points with them, I don't know what will. Okay, so I've gotten about... 200 of the belief. Where did my creature go, by the way? Seriously, where... Where is my creature? Oh no, how do you find him when... He's just gone. Focus on the creature, I've commanded the spell. I actually forgot, so in the bottom right there, see how there's the uh, different sort of mouse movements? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can, uh, you can sort of activate different leashes and stuff by moving your mouse to create different uh different patterns doesn't quite work that well though there we go it's pretty pretty cool mechanism though okay where where was he anyway he's like way over here we're gonna like micromanage him to make sure he actually gets where we need him to go we're, we're only one rock away by the way before we're we're able to sort of solve this guy's little puzzle what what happened to him what? He died? Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, hold on. Where is he? He just like di died on a hill. Oh, he's hungry? He needs food? We're gonna give him some food. Then maybe he won't just die on a random mountaintop. Okay, now, now you come over to this awesome village. Let's watch him up close this time because if he dies, I want to know how he dies. Is it maybe it's the giant lamb that's killing him? But he's he's not even getting close to him. So you'd have to be killing him from, like, afar. Man, these people are going to be so psyched when they see this cow run through town. If this doesn't make them believe in me, nothing will. 25. Look at it all. It's a lot of belief. Uh... What? 299 belief needed? Are you serious? How are we supposed to do this? Hmm. Well, I don't know how to make this... I don't know how to accelerate this process, but, uh... We'll just let this be for a little while. Anyway, we had a rock to attend to. I, I keep getting distracted away from my rocks. I gotta focus on these rocks. I think these are the most important thing in life. Oh man, this guy's sad. I knew it! I knew it! Man, I'll be your god. You're so much bigger than my other pet. Screw the cow! Let's join, let's team up, man. We can, we can make him go away. We can get rid of him. He's an idiot. Don't be sad! You can be my, you can be my creature. Um, we need food to feed our cow, I think. Oh, you know what we can do? We can just take food from that other village. Where are they? You can feed my cow. Hey, look, everyone's looking at the cow. 246, how do we need more belief? We have a giant cow tethered to your building, and we are constantly picking people up and throwing them around. I don't know what... Well, what do I have to do to make you people believe in me? All right, time to... Uh, Time to start smashing houses. Here, have a stinking ro- Oh, I threw it over the village. If 
you guys won't believe in me the nice way, we're gonna do it the hard way. Let's take now, how about now? How about now? Hey, you stinking animals. Next time, believe in a god when he shows up with a giant cow. I don't know how to get them to believe in me, but uh, we're like four more points closer to them believing. Only 200 more to go. Oh man, there are more rocks. Okay. Ugh, two more rocks and I can't find the right ones. I don't understand. Why are there other rocks that look like they could fit? But these ones make the wrong noises, so they don't fit. And it's not even like they make the wrong tune. They just literally don't even make the right kind of noise. So I don't know what, I don't know what kind of crazy magic rocks you had in mind, hippie man. But you're way too picky. Way too picky. When a god brings you a magic rock, you say thank you. And that's all. Ugh. As a god, I think I'm doing mediocre at best. So there you have it. That's what I've been up to. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop back in and start playing this for realsies and uh, see what's going on with this giant, giant lamb. Holy one, there's a huge creature in the valley beyond. I've known about that for a long time, buddy. We're all terrified. This must be the creature that Siebel spoke of. Let's investigate. Can you hear that? This giant is communicating. It's telepathic. Please, use the leash to bring your creature to me. I think he just wants a friend. <laughs> the hell did I just do? Where is my creature anyway? Is it dead again? Oh, there's another. I think I left him tied up over here. Oh, there he is. Doing cow stuff. What the heck? He's like dancing. I leave him alone and he starts like a conga line here. They're like worshipping the cow. What the heck? Do they believe in me yet? They... He's earned like no belief. This is a choreographed number. What the heck is going on here? Now he's tired. He's like, show's over, folks. It's nap time for old cow. Professor... Professor Muenstein, I think his name was. Alright. Well, enough dancing, creature. You gotta learn how to get big. You know, come back and terrify all those people. I wonder if they know that me and the cow are in cahoots. Because they were... They seemed pleasant with the cow, but I had just recently destroyed all of their houses. So I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know if they know that they should be afraid of old Jay the Sinister God. Oh man, this guy takes forever. Hurry up! I wish you were a giant, man. It goes so much faster. Um, here's a little bit of trivia for you guys. I actually know a guy who knows a guy who uh, helped program black and white. Just kind of interesting. My my uh, my two degrees of uh, separation claim to fame. Um, yeah, somebody I know actually these days works with one of the programmers who helped design the AI in this game. Um, he doesn't do AI programming anymore, and he, now he's a scientist. But uh, yeah, a bit of interesting trivia. I remember when I was a kid. Um, when this game came out, I, as I said before, it was a pretty big deal. Um, I remember going over to a friend's house uh, to study for uh, exams in school. And instead, we ended up just playing black and white. We ended up, uh, I, I just played this game for hours and hours at a time. Um, we would even go to his house at lunchtime uh, to play this game, which is pretty hilarious. Um, Please, use the leash to bring your creature. All right, all right, psychic lamb dude. Oh, well, we could attach the leash to him if we wanted. Nah, we won't do that. Let's see what he has to say. But yeah, do you guys remember when you were kids or in high school or whatever, like going over to, like talking during school to friends, but like, oh, we should go over to your house at lunch and play some video games. You'd actually go and do it. he would be so rushed, but it would be like such an awesome break in the middle of the day to go play games. Um, my cow is pretty, oh, he just waved at him. He's pretty brave. That giant lamb looks kind of terrifying alone for eons you know dude there's a whole city right around the uh ridge there you could um oh god he belonged to another god what happened to your god can gods die this is news to me i don't want to die but gods were immortal what's going on here banished here and I've been alone ever since. That's sad. Now, but you haven't been alone. There have been people here, man. astonishing, but what a sad tale. In return for your friendship and that of your creature, I will teach you both. 
You will both learn the ways of the gods. This guy's just giving it away. How does he know that once he teaches us the ways of the gods, we're not going to leave him lesson. too? Meet me at the village through this uh, because we kind of are just going to leave this guy. All right, cow. Oh, uh, you're doing the right thing. You're following him. All right. What a lonely existence. He 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 didn't have any giant female lambs to keep him company. Let's go. Come on, creature. Run. Run, little cow. Can't wait till he gets big like this guy. I don't know how big your guys can actually get, but I think they can get pretty damn big. Um, another fun fact, originally this game was about uh, wizards who would command titans that were powered by belief. And over time, this game merged slowly into the sort of god game that we have here today. I mean, Peter Molyneux is really into god games. A lot of his games focus on sort of god games and also morality. Um, you know, like, he, and he has a, an interesting thing of, like, trying to take bad guys and, like, make them playable, like with Dungeon Keeper and so on. But, like, Populous was totally a god game. Uh, the morality system in this game sort of would inspire things like Fable and other games to come. Uh, it's pretty one-dimensional that you can be either good or bad, but... It is a pretty interesting idea. Is that a special rock or no? Um, it is a pretty interesting idea that you don't necessarily have to be the good guy in a video game. That wasn't always the case. Right, let's see what this says here. This is the Aztec village. I will teach you the first secret. All right, dude. Tell me. These people do not yet believe in you. I know, I've been trying. They've been dancing around my cow. Power. You and your creature can impress them until they believe. I've been trying, man. I smashed their houses, threw them around. That shows that they need food. Oh. I guess... If you give them some, they'll think it's a miracle and will believe in you more. Hmm. Click on the signpost to find out more about Desire Flag. Alright, fine. They want food? We'll give them all the food they can ever eat. We'll stuff it down their throats. We'll mandate... We'll mandate Food Fridays, where people have to eat until they barf. Oh. This is a food you can pick Interesting. Up one shot and activate them by... Alright. I can, I can do this. I've... Trust me, I've, I've cast a miracle or, or two in my day. And then you cast it in there. Yeah, I get it. I understand the, pre the basic premise of what we're working with here. I can do this. Things like this. If your creature is on the rope lead... Ooh. Now you try tap on The only downside about teaching my creature how to cast miracles is maybe one day he'll become a god and like try to challenge my rule or something. Could be like uh could be like setting myself up for destruction here. Okay. Well Take that. Done. Now click the action button over the village door. Oh, he's learning. Okay, I don't even have to have him like on the leash. They're believing me. That worked a lot better than smashing them to pieces. I guess they respond to uh, Good. Not to, only have to you fed them, benevolence but they over cruelty. Which again, it's funny because like the the bad the bad little represent. demon in your head always wants you to do bad things. Um, but it seems like you would just fail the mission. The um, go in the first video we had that mission where we had to find that woman's sick brother, and I said you could smash the house and like uh, get the the rock without finding her brother for her. And I was reading up about this game actually, but since that time, and it turns out that you can actually do really even more evil things. Like you can go and kill the brother and then drop his tattered corpse in front of her, or you can like kill her and then drop her tattered corpse in front of the brother. And if you do that, the brother will like die of shock. So like you can be like really mean. I guess that that was a lot for him. Oh, don't disturb him. He was up for six hours. Um, so yeah, you can be like a real jerk in this game. But again, I don't know what it gets you. Like, if we wanted to be a jerk here, we would not give these people food and just like butcher them all, but then we wouldn't get the village. So like, yeah, you can be evil, but you have to be sort of evil within, um, within reason. Oh, now they believe it. Now they worship the cow god. The Aztecs will worship you now. They better worship me. investigated many silver reward scrolls, leader. Try a few. It'll be worth it. What? You'll be worth it. 
All right, fine. I'll I'll do one. I just got to get rid of the, all this extra food. Man, look at my original village. Look how much food they have. You really don't have to do much in order to like uh, maintain your villages. I think in the later levels, um, like in the next level, I think you actually get to build a village and decide where things go. Like all these different buildings do stuff. This building uh, keeps children safe till adulthood. We saw uh, we already saw like a uh, graveyard. Um, like, man, we got a lot of people here. Let's let's thin the herd. <laughs> Just randomly kill some people. You're dead. Where are you? Still alive? How's that possible? That guy's just watching the other one. You're not even running. All right, we'll get you two. I just want to hear it go, death. Nothing, eh? Let's uh, bring a skeleton over to the Aztec village and show them what happens if you ever piss me off. What? Didn't gain any belief for that. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's investigate some more of these silver scrolls. What do we got going on over here? We just murdered two people for really no reason at all. Do not show us that there are children in this village. Oh no, it bodes well for their survival. Some of children are lost. They'll need rescuing. A stranger has been seen putting the children into trance. That is creepy, man. He has them imprisoned in a secret place. It's uh totally like this the village pedophile. It's got to be him. But if he should die before we find the children, they could be lost forever. Oh, my babies. See, now this is where being a wicked god, we can actually do some good, because we could just beat that, that guy to death. Tiny lives are at stake. Tiny lives? Come on, who cares? Anyway, let's move out. Oh, you know, I've always wanted to say that. So this is, the, this is totally the dude. Prove me. I don't care. I won't believe in you. I'm a giant hand floating above you, and you're not going to believe in me? Okay, well, I know your secret base is, like, right over here. Let me in. Let me in. I need a rock. There's never a rock around when you need one. Um, let's grab one from way over here. We're going far for our rocks. All right. Now we go over here. Oh, we missed. Okay, let's try this again. Wait, we missed again. How's that possible? Wait, how's this thing... How's this thing staying up? I wish we could cast, like, a fireball or something. Huh. Okay, so we can't just bust our way in. Alright, where did that guy go? Damn it. Did we lose him? This looks Prove me. I don't care. creepy. I won't believe in you. Look, he's playing little songs, making little children come to dance. And then he's gonna like take them away into his like secret cave. This is like this is not appropriate for children, what's happening right now. Okay, but what do we do to stop him, I wonder? Prove me. Alright, we'll put care. a pin in that. Put a pin in the child abductions and let's try another scroll. What do we got going on over here? Is there something more exciting than a town pedophile? What's all the fuss? Oh, she does not look happy. A freak wave has just struck. My husband and four others are drowning. Please help hmm. them. I suppose. Uh, let's see. Who do we know who's tall enough to wait out to him? Don't muck around. Let's get our creature out there as fast as possible. Oh man, our creature is really far away from here. We're gonna go like this to try and summon him. Do 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 I try to do it slower. Does this work? Oh my god, draw the stupid thing. Draw the thing. Everyone's going to drown because I can't draw a leash. Oh, where's the creature? We'll do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> the whole gesture thing, I think, is cool, but, like, for some reason, it, like, does not work. Oh, wait. Where is the creature? Oh, shoot. We lost him. Um, Is he over? Is he at the temple? Zoom in here. 
Oh, he is. Okay. Come on, creature. We got work to do. You gotta save these people. For some reason, I can't grab them. And ready to start teaching your little creature more. Oh, we got a, a giant psychic lamb who's ready to teach us more. We got people to save, though, dude. Put him over there. Do not eat him. I'll get you. I'll get you a nice, tasty human after. They're really not that far out at all. They could literally just paddle over here. Mm, who's next? Get this dude. He's literally walking on the water. Oh my god. This creature has powers. No, 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 no. Don't drink the water. Get the dude. <laughs> He's like drinking the water besides a drowning man. Also, seawater is not healthy for you, Professor Cowenstein. Or Muenstein. That is going to be bad for you. Get that person. I think one of them drowned. What? And her creature just died. What the? What just happened? He like passed out. At least some survived. We're a little thankful. For some. That. I saved three out of four. Don't you ever not be grateful again. Let that be a lesson to you. Our creature, he's literally... I think the seawater got him. He, he had a rough night of partying. What the... He just faded out of existence. Erased from time. Somebody went back in time and stopped his cow parents from being met. Marty McCow. Um, is he, he's just over there now, and he's completely fine. Um, he's hungry. That's the problem. Okay. Taking a bunch of food. Zooming in on him. And we're giving him the food. And we're going to rub his little belly. Let him know he's a good cow. You, you did the best you could, didn't you? Oh, 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 no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be good to him. I'm not trying to abuse him. Just accidentally slapping him. There we go. Good boy. Now, what do we want to do next? Let's keep him on a, a tight leash because if we need him. We must find the person behind this child stealing business. Okay, well we did find this guy. He's like literally right over here. Tell you what, I got a new idea, new plan. For some reason I can't pick him up. I don't care. I won't believe in you. But uh, I think my cow can intimidate him quite a bit. The cow's kind of like the mob enforcer. Like, if you don't pay the bills, he comes and, like, wrecks your, your stuff. So, yeah. Get away from me, you big monster! You like playing songs for little kids? Told me. I don't Guess care. what's gonna I happen to you? You ever been eaten by a cow before? Because it's about to happen. What the? Chase him! He's, like, running up into the hills! Get him! Oh, my God. The creature won't get me! Tie him up, boss! He's getting on my nerves! He's right, and he won't get away when he's leashed to our creature. Oh, we gotta leash him to the creature. I gotcha. So we gotta, like, lure this guy back out. <laughs> this is the most annoying dude ever. Damn atheists. We'll get him, though. I guess I can't pick him up because he doesn't believe in me. So if you don't believe in a god, then you're pretty safe in this world, it seems. We'll get him. Maybe he's an agnostic. He just he doesn't know what to believe. Prod me. I don't care. No. Nope. I won't believe in you. No. Nope. <laughs> I attached the cow to a tree. No, where are you going? There we go. Get help! I'm having a panic attack. Oh yeah, buddy. You're having a panic attack. Because a cow is attached to you. Ah! Yeah, eat him. Ah, you got me. Let me live. Don't eat me. Mm. If you spare me and take me to my cave, I'll release the children. I only wanted a family, but the village women said I was too ugly. Oh, boo-hoo. Let's turn him into a creature snack. 
But if we take him to the cave, we'll save the I do ones. feel like punishing him, but at the same time, I do kind of feel a little obligation to save the children. Uh oh, I think he just ate him. <laughs> hey, wow. I was gonna oh well. That. Yummy. That's extreme bad taste. I think we can me. still get the children. I think we know where they are. Ooh, we got the power of lighting. Nice. I do like that. We'll be able to use that to wreck some enemies. But hold on, hold on. This cave thing is not is not resolved. Let's just go in here and free them. The door is wide open. Get over here, cowie. While the door is open, the kids will find their way out. I'm sure everything worked out for the best. Now, let's see about this thing here. So the power to make lightning. Oh, man. Let's, let's test it out over here, see what happens. Ooh, sweet. The wrath of a god. That'll really mess some people up. All right, good. Uh, let's, well, actually, I was going to say let's feed our cow, but he just ate. <laughs> he just ate pedophile, so he's probably good. Um, we were over here doing stuff, I think. Let go of the leash. There we go. Are there any other scrolls around here? I don't see any. It's a miracle. Uh, anything else over here? Okay, there's a scroll there. That guy had his nap, and he's feeling a lot better. These people believe in me for some reason now. Just a, a mild amount. They don't believe a lot, just a little. So they, let's see, they want, they want food. They desire food. Okay, let's finish doing this. We never finish sort of feeding these people. Keep our people nice and fed. So I guess you just have to do miracles on cities, and depending what they want, you can like get them to, oops, <laughs> join you. Pick this stuff up too here. I'm surprised the cow dance party did not convert them though. You would think of all the things. Like that's a that's pretty cool having a, a giant cow come and, and dance. I guess I put on like an ice page show for this village and they just weren't having it. Whatever. All right, I did the best I could for you people. And uh, you guys want. Uh, want babies so let's see let's find a way to make you mate this guy here Sergio he's gonna be your new lover disciple breeder he, he's uh, on breeding duty and this guy Enrico is gonna join the party too disciple Sergio and Enrico they're they're the town gigolos and they're gonna bring the love before you know it this is gonna be a throbbing a throbbing metropolis of love let's see what this guy has to say he's judging us He's like, you and your d base animal instincts. I smell combat. All right, now we get to actually fight. Where's our creature? This this giant sheep's been looking for a fight, and we're going to give it to him. So do you think you can take this giant lamb, Professor? Because you're on deck here. When I was Nemesis' creature, he often sent me into battle. I foresee the same. They're like god Pokemon. First, I will become your size to make things easier. Be prepared to get bruised. Don't worry, in time... You know, it's not the size of your creature that counts, but how you use it. That's what I always said. Oh my god, he looks so adorable. He's in fact smaller than me. I'm gonna totally kick his butt. You never been beat up by a cow? Because you're about to be. An arena will appear every time there is a fight. You should know that your creature will fight without help from you. Yeah, so you really don't have to do much, I guess. It's like a sumo ring. All right, let's do this. Firstly, We're going to wipe that stupid look off your face. Click on a part of my body using the action button to strike. Me. Oh, punch to the gut. How about a gut? A punch a little lower. Oh. A good hit. You can queue up multiple attacks as well. We're going right for the groin, right for the giggle berries. 
Click the action button on your creature to make ah. him glow. Man, look, his eyes are like glowing blue. He's got the rage That's of many cows on the inside. Here. You'll stop blocking if you do another command. Let us concentrate on <laughs> Click the Hit action him. button. Kick his red. butt, Jay the Ancient <laughs> One. <laughs> Professor Moon Sign away. That's it. You have learned well. Let us try some friendly combat to test these skills. Friendly. Well struck. Oh, he did a sweeping kick. Where did he learn that? Well struck. Back off. Block. Ooh, ooh, this guy's looking bruised. Oh no. Defend yourself. Well struck. I wonder what happens if you get pushed out of the arena. Is it like uh, Virtual Fighter where it's not a loss? Oh, how am I losing this fight? I thought I was doing well. Oh my god. No, defend yourself. Defend yourself. He's he's so bruised. How am I losing? Oh my god. He's he's a professional. I got lured. I got scam. Oh my god, he's giant. He's gonna crush me. That was an important lesson. Oh my god. You show great potential, but work on your technique. Are you supposed to win that? I thought I was doing well. I feel like I got more hits in. Well, near the end I got sloppy, but um, I did. I am remembering this game very clearly now. Where like, um, it takes it's it's a very it's the game is like very indirect in how you do things. Like if you want to take over another village, it's very hard and laborious and long, and takes a lot of miracles and so on. Um, if you want to fight enemies, I remember it was like very difficult. It was very hard to like learn how to actually win fights and stuff. I mean, I'm sure people who are better at this game, um, it's more obvious. But like, I'm used to like command and conquer and stuff. You like click on an enemy to do something and they do it. Here, it's very like you click on it to do it and it kind of does it and it sometimes works and it's like you don't really have direct control over anything in this game. So, yeah, I don't know. It, it's you know definitely. Oh look. There's stuff, like, right over here, too. Look at this. Huh. There's a dude over here, too. Look. Whoa. Whoa, what is that? A troll! Huh. Can we fight this guy? Where's my creature? Anyway. He's going over there. Let's see if we can fight him. I want to kick this troll's butt. Oh, how horrid. I think he's he's ugly, speak. therefore he's evil. Me, God here. Me, pig hungry. Me, name Slag. This ogre seems to be guarding something. A reward. Listen to that music. It's evil. He's God in the past. He's outside our influence, so let's... Alright, let's do it. We shouldn't resort to combat with the poor thing. Hmm. He looks hungry. <sighs> We could probably feed him and avoid combat, but that's not very exciting, is it? Where's our creature? No, come here. You're going to fight. We could give this thing food, but uh, I prefer the more aggressive approach. Also, that's what you guys really want to see. You want to see a blood match. Nobody wants to see two friends be made. Too bad we can't convince this thing that we exist. If we could get this guy believing in us... We'd be on. We'd be on quite a path. Uh oh, you've got him mighty riled. Prepare for battle. Yeah, boss. we're prepared. <laughs> okay, this time we're not getting our butt kicked. Okay, here we go. Attack! Oh. Attack! No! Attack! Attack! You're you're whiffing it, dude! Oh, dude! You're doing so bad, so bad! Oh, what the hell? Oh my God, we're doing we're doing so horrible! 
How do you win these fights? Okay, maybe I should just not do anything and let my cow figure it out for himself. No, he's he's doing worse! No! Professor Muenstein, you suck at combat! Who trained you? Shit, did we forget to train you? Why is he not getting worn out? No, 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 keep defending! It's the only thing we're good at. Okay, our blue bars to the max. Just hit him once! Hit him once, dude! Oh my god! Combat in this game sucks! <laughs> what the hell? Oh yeah, I definitely remember I never mastered this. Never figured this out as a kid. Killing this one thing... ...is like never gonna happen. Oh! Or maybe it will. Maybe he's got a block, and then... Yeah! Oh, come on, dude! He attacked you, you were blocking, and then you couldn't even get an attack in? Oh my god, we suck. I right, forget this. Just go! Go go Hulk on him! Attack every piece of him! Every part of him! Just go crazy! Ah, you suck. You suck, Professor Muenstein. Kick him out of the ring, at least. Do like a ring out on him. Pretty sure that's an automatic loss. According to Virtual Fighter rules, which I think are the rules we're playing by. Oh god, how embarrassing. Well... Stupid cow. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been playing this for like, probably about three hours now? No, maybe two and a half. And like, it's taken this long to go through the first level. Like, this is a tutorial level. Um, let me see if I can find another scroll or two. There might be, like, a few other things we can try. But originally I thought maybe we could get to, like, the second level or so. But these are long, complicated levels. And they take a lot of time and a lot of effort. So let's go in. Uh, we still haven't found all the rocks here. I have no idea where the other rocks are. I've been keeping my eye out. But, like, all over this island, I cannot for the life of me find these, uh, the magic rocks that this guy wants. There's clearly treasure right over there. So, if people believe in you, you can spread your influence. So see this, like, red wall? That's, like, the, the limit of our influence. And the influence builds, so this town believes in us, so now the wall spreads all the way over here, but, like, you know, it's within limits. Um, it, it is possible for you to learn other gestures, so you can cast, like, these kinds of miracles um, without, without needing these miracle balls. You can just sort of move your mouse and make a gesture and, and do it. Let's electrocute this guy. Your, your tutorials suck, dude! You suck, too! Remember how I said we were gonna be friends? Well, joke's on you, I don't want a stupid burning lamb as a friend. Look at him. Look at his dumb face. Can't believe he didn't Please train us better. Okay, let's bring our creature over to him, and let's start wrapping this up here. Please I guess, is this Nemesis? It's like a giant skeleton. Okay, so let's let's find our creature wherever he may be. Oh wait, what's way over here? Eh? Anything interesting? Hmm, not much. Kind of a useless tip of an island there. All right. Uh, I wish there was like a hot key to just like get your creature. Maybe like C. Oh, what the? I didn't know that would actually work. That's pretty damn cool, actually. Oh, the things you learn. Okay, our creature's gonna go on one last hurrah here before we uh, wrap this video up. But uh, Black and White is one of the games in the book 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. Oh, by the way, I think we're turning evil. If you look at our, uh, if you look at our temple, it's slowly developing like little black points to the edge here uh, of its spire. I think we're, we're slowly turning evil. Um, but this is one of the games in the book 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. Um, and... I, I'm on the fence about whether I think this is like a must play. It's definitely like a very interesting game. Um, it had, it, it was very ambitious for its time. And its inclusion of AI and 3D controls were, and a morality system were pretty damn cool. I will say that I know that when this game was coming out, death. <laughs> when, I know that when this game was coming out, I think they promised a little more than they ultimately delivered. Because this was a beast of a game to program. It had like over a million lines of code and it took an hour to compile and you know when they first started testing it out it had like 3,000 bugs they had to fix. So of course it was a huge technological achievement but I think that like 
Like when I first played this game, I was like, wow, this is going to be so amazing. And I went out and got it and I played it at home. And I very quickly realized that these levels take a long time to pass and you have very indirect control over everything. Like you don't actually, if, if I was directly controlling the cow to fight in those fights, I would have kicked that troll's butt. But instead you kind of have to click and then you let your cow decide when to attack and so on. So it's like playing with a very, very, very delayed controller. So I have always been on the fence about this game where like I really like it in theory, but like on paper when I actually play the game, I don't know how much I actually would say I like enjoy it. It's a very cool idea for a game. Um, I think for me, I just find the controls um, just a little too disconnected. And so I don't think this is a game that I personally think you must play because of these issues. I think it might be more interesting to go and like watch some very interesting levels be played um, rather than try and wrestle through it yourself. But that's just my opinion. I don't know. For you guys out there watching this video, is black and am I underestimating black and white here? Do I just need more experience with it? You know, do you have lots of fond memories with it? Or, you know, for even those of you who enjoy the game, do you also find that, yeah, there's a bit of a learning curve um, and there's a bit of a, a difficulty in sort of the directness of control. And the levels really are... Um, you know, whether you like this game or not, you have to agree that the levels in this game are very laborious and long. Like, it's not the type of game you could sit down. Like, even, like, Dune 2 or Command & Conquer or Warcraft, like, you could beat a level, like, maybe in an hour. And it's, like, very clear that you're making progress. But, like, here... Like, okay, this village believes in us, but what have we done with this village since? Like, there's a lot of things you do in this game, and it's just sort of, like... You don't do much with your, the, the progress that you do make. I don't know. Uh, just my opinion. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. This lamb is telling us the secret of creed? The source of godly power? No more. Oh, no. Nemesis, my old master has returned. Oh, no, he's afraid of him. This does not bode well for us. <laughs> my cow is, like, totally unfazed. He's like, I've seen it all. I fought a troll. Ate a, ate a pedophile. I am not afraid. Um, so I guess the plot of this game is that there is one god going around trying to kill all the others and become the ultimate god, and that is basically, I think, Nemesis, his old, uh, his old god. So we have to defeat him eventually. So god-on-god -god combat. If you ever wanted god-on-god -god combat, this is the game for you. But anyway, anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed checking out Black and White with me here today. Um, you know, whether you enjoy the game or not, I always hope that you guys enjoy the sort of let's plays that I make. And if you have, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will be back in a few days with a new video and a new game. So until then, my friends, take care of yourselves. And if you find yourself with the powers of a god, use those powers wisely or just abuse them for fun. Because, I mean, realistically, that's what we would all do if we suddenly found ourselves with the power of a god. <laughs> all right, guys, until next time, peace. No, don't kill him! Well, he doesn't seem to be dying. Oh, I spoke too soon. I mean, to be fair, I tried to kill him with lightning too, so he does not have a good repertoire with uh, God. And our creature uh, passed out in sympathy. Oh, no, maybe not sympathy. He, the, he looks straight up dead, yeah. A lot of creatures dying. A lot of people dying too. Oh my God. Oh my God, it keeps going. Oh, that may explain a thing or two. <laughs> well, we all knew it would come to this eventually. They were either going to die by my hand or my enemies, so at least it wasn't by my hand.